and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Today on the channel we have the amazing, small but mighty, Hogue Ritter Mini. Just like the larger counterpart, we've got this beautifully done G10 scales. This one is running 20 CV steel, just like the big boy. Uh, Able locks, access lock, whatever you want to call it. This is a tip up right or left hand carry. Flows th flow through construction here. Let's open this guy up. <laughs> the action on these things are just amazing. Uh, even in my big ass hands, this thing feels amazing. The ergos are fantastic, just like the large version. Uh, this one I can actually get if I squeeze them all four fingers in relaxed normal grip, it's about three and a quarter fingers. Uh, I am able to choke up using a trigger pull method on the on the scale here. So squeeze back, locks my hand in. Just amazing. Beautiful job. Does have that standard spoonbill style clip. That's relatively deep carry on this. You are going to have about that much knife sticking out. Lanyard hole for your lanyard guys. And I tell you what, for, for people with extra large double XL hands, sometimes that comes in handy, but I don't think it's needed on this one. You've got that beautiful, if I can get the light to catch it, might have to do it up closer. Stone wash finish on this blade. Come on, baby, focus. Hopefully y'all can pick that up. This thing is screaming sharp. As you can see, grinds are done pretty even from side to side. We do have a slightly larger bevel on the tip side, uh, tip on the show side here, as opposed to the clip side. Yeah, fantastic. Jumping in the right places, even in my hands. Thumb lands right on it. It's aggressive enough it locks you in, but it's not too aggressive to where it cuts your finger up. Yeah, really, really good job. Let's get some specs on this thing. Overall length, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, just at or just under seven inches. We've got a three inch blade with two and seven eighths cutting edge. Fantastic Act, uh, action with this able lock. Yeah, just outstanding. Let's get a weight on this guy. This one's gonna come in at 2.65 ounces, very lightweight. Compact, in and out of pocket, no trouble whatsoever. Even though it does have this, um, how the clip is designed here, the screws do sit very, very uh, proud of the clip. However, functionality-wise, didn't make a bit of difference. In and out of pocket, super, super easy. We'll do a couple size comparisons for you. We'll go with the mini bug out. As you can see, larger than the mini bug out. This one is going to be pretty close to the, the size of the DECA, if you're familiar with the DECA. And then, of course, let's compare it to its big brother, the full-size Hogue Ritter. Outstanding design, by the way. If you guys do not have one of these or have not handled either the full-size or the mini, I really strongly suggest you do. They are just outstanding tools. Outstanding knives. Billboarding. You've got uh, Hogue. You've got the USA. And of course you've got Doug Ritter and the Blade Steel. Come on, baby. 20 CV. Do have some billboarding on the clip. 
You've got the Doug Ritter logo and the Hogue name. So if you guys are into smaller, more compact, lightweight knives, I'm telling you, you just can't beat this Hogue Ritter Mini. Just fantastic. Anyhow, that's all I have for today, folks. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love the feedback. And until next time, take care.